and now the Giants, again, the only bad news is they got to go back and play on that that field that they really would rather not play on, but uh, the NFL not giving them any relief, and the Giants' position is everything's fine. And I, I, I hope scary. that I, – I, well, I just – you know, and the NFLPA has said they support the 49ers in this. It's just what can you really do in a right. compressed time frame? It's not like you're going to rip up the turf and put down new turf. And, you know, I, there are other stadiums you could move the game to. Now the Bills play at home, and, you know, you don't want to have everyone travel an extended uh, distance. But it, and, and then there's the issue with traveling parties going from one state to another with the pandemic. I, th- th- none of that's been discussed. None of that's even been mentioned. No. It's never even been whispered, and we're three days from the game. They're have, they got to play on that, that turf, whether they like it or not, Chris. Yeah. And it's going to be a challenge for Kyle to get those guys to not think about it because I think that's the problem. Whether there's an issue with it or not, if you think there is, it, it's something else you're carrying around as baggage in your that's brain right. that you've got to process with everything else. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. As a football player – when you see your, you know, fellow teammates down in agony and, oh, man, the look in their eye of, like, they know the season's over right there. You know, th- that's that's the crap that scares you, a football player. Football players who are scared about nothing in life, just about, that's the crap that sticks in their brain throughout the week. And you have that, like, just burned image, like, of oh, I could see Nick Bosa on the ground and the look in his eye. And that, that scares the death out of a, a competitor or, or a guy who makes his living, you know, playing sports. So when you see – and then you see that many guys go down and that many difference makers, yeah, that's going to be in their head. You know, maybe they wear different cleats this week. I will say this, and I said it yesterday. You know, first off, how much money does the NFL waste every year on players who end up not being able to play because they get hurt for reasons – you know, why do we even have field turf still in the NFL? Okay, that's the one thing. Injuries are 30% greater on turf. I, I don't understand that. So that's the first thing I just want to argue. The other thing, too, like I said yesterday. What would be the other alternative? Grow grass. grass. I mean, the problem is grass doesn't grow as well. Man, how did we make it through 100 climates. years of football to this point without, you know, I don't know how we did it without field turf. It's just I'm not sure how we got here. Well, uh, Chris, Chris, you got to admit the field turf Wh- is at least – is at least a slight upgrade over the green cement that your dad played on. He played on AstroTurf. He played on worse, like worse That's stuff. my point. Right. At least this is better than that. Well, it is better than that, but how about just go to grass, like the good old-fashioned earth god stuff, grass. Yeah, I mean, I just I don't get that. You know, we've had this conversation before. Guys in La Liga, Ronaldo's and the Messi's of the world, and in the premiership, they don't. It's in their contract. If we go to field turf, I don't play the game. I mean, that's what happens. They come over here to America and they don't play because they go, oh, it's a football stadium with field turf. I don't play on this. But back to my my point here with this too. This is the one thing I noticed. All right, I, and and again, yeah, I've been on a lot of fields and seen a lot of fields, and I actually even talked to somebody with the Jets yesterday about this. And this is I I asked him because I noticed it on watching the last two weeks of Giants games there. There's not enough black pebbles on the field, too. That would be the thing that jumped out to me, right? You see those black rubber pebbles? It does not look like there's a lot of them. And that would be – that was what I was told those by Those are somebody. toxic, by the way. I, well, they those are. Those are toxic. Yeah. Well, not to have <laughs> I mean, that's another issue for your ligaments. But, yeah. But yeah. that was the one thing I was told by somebody with the Jets, too. He goes, the turf's new. It's good. He goes, if there's one complaint, he goes, there's not enough of those pebbles. He goes, it's, it's very grabby. And it is. It looks grabby. And you saw that last week with some of the guys' knees. You know what those pebbles are, don't you? Rubber? I just figured it was rubber. They're ground-up tires. Is They're that right? They're ground-up tires. Yeah. That's what they are. Yes. Yeah. Um, Trent Williams addressed this issue yesterday. He said, I'd be lying to tell you we're not going to be thinking about it yeah. or it's not going to be across our minds. But when you've got 300-pound linemen in front of you that's trying to put you on your back, I think the surface falls on the back burner. But he did say it's sticky, thick, and yeah. spongy. Sticky. He said it's tricky. It's tricky to, uh, yeah. to maneuver on. But isn't it odd that the Giants are saying – We've practiced on it all of training camp. We've got no problem with it at all. I mean, is that a certain amount of Jedi mind trick? Or are they truly fine with it? I mean, if they had a problem with it, yeah. we'd have heard something, yeah, you're right? right? Yeah, you're right. We would have heard something. You're right. I, I think even the players, despite maybe the gum going into their own stadium, I think they would have spoke out too. You're right. I'm so so it can't be that crucial because we didn't even really hear the Steelers complain about it either. But 
That is the word it looked like to me. You know, the NFL language would be sticky, grabby, those type of things. Big guys don't like to play on this surface no matter what. Um, but, yeah, that's just the way it looked, even with Bosa's injury. You know, yeah, he had somebody push him and everything, but there was no give in the turf at all. So what gave? His leg, unfortunately. And um, it's going to be in the brains of the 49ers players. Hopefully they can overcome it. Maybe you wear different shoes this week. Maybe you don't wear real cleats. You wear those turf shoes that just have little nubs on them. Those were things that I would be thinking about as a player right now to go, maybe let me see if, like, let me practice today with these. What do these feel like? And just start, you know, experimenting to what makes you feel the best. I do agree with the broader point you made, though, for the investment that's made in the various players on the field. Right. You would think that the league and the individual owners would want to protect their investments yes. better. And I'm no botanist. I've just always been under the impression that in some of these northeastern climates, you can't get grass to the point where it needs to be all year long. But I will say this. They pull it off in Wisconsin. Thank you. And, and if Pittsburgh. they can pull it off in Wisconsin, well, in, in, the, 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 you have you know, a college team that plays there that ruins it. Well, That's they, and they play issue. high school and they play high right. school games there. It's overused. Right. And it's a lot better than it was in 2007 on the Monday night game when the the punt actually stuck, stuck in the in ground the, because it was so wet. It was a that. mess. <laughs> and, uh, I remember Mike that. Tirico on the call of that one, the ball that just went just bunk <laughs> into the grass right. and did not bounce. That was a forgettable night. But but yeah, I I. If they really wanted to do it, they could do it. It's just like Pete Carroll wearing a mask. There's a way to do it. And something is better than nothing. And maybe anything is better than artificial surfaces. But we've just accepted over yeah. the years that yeah. this is the way it is. And, again, it's still better than the stuff your dad played on. I don't know how the hell they played I don't know stuff. either. At Old Giant Stadium and Veterans oh, Stadium what? and Three Rivers Stadium. That's and, insane. And it's, it's a horrendous horrendous anybody that's ever tried to run on that good luck getting out of bed the next day yeah even if no one hits you it is horrendous on the joints there is no give none and uh so but, but they can always do better hi i'm mike tarico and thanks for watching make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from nbc sports